I guess you must be wondering what all these stones are around me. Well, I'll give you a clue. They're from different eras from all over Iran in ancient times, and they've survived today. This art is the world of epigraphy. The epigraphy section in the gardens of Niavaran Palace mainly displays inscriptions from the pre-Islamic era, which goes back more than 2,000 years. Like any other epigraph from the ancient world, these pieces are dated documents that have splendid artistic and cultural value for the country's civilization. کتیبایی که اینجا هست یه سریشون تصویر نگاری هایی هست که انسان های نخصین انجام دادن بعد دوره های مختلف از تاریخ قدیمی ترین کتیبایی که در ایران هست کتیبه های اوراتوی، ایلامی و آشوری هست قانونامه همورابی در خوزستان در ایران کشف شده و بزرگترین کتیبه دوران باستان کتیبه داروش حقامنشی در بیستون به سه زبان this legendary museum in the capital is split up into two main sections. One part contains priceless pieces from the pre-Islamic era, like we saw earlier outdoors. The other part houses beautiful decorative items of Islamic art and calligraphy. So we've just seen what pieces of epigraphy looked like back in the Achaemenid and Sassanid eras. To find out more about how it evolved, we've just walked into Iran's National Museum, where we're looking at fine pieces of art from the 14th century. Islamic calligraphy and inscriptions varied in style as each Persian dynasty passed. The National Museum has divided the time zones into different halls. In one department, you'll have works from an earlier era, like the Seljuk. In another, you'll see pieces from the Safavid rule. با تلفیق خط نسخ و خط تعلیق یه خط جدید ایجاد کردن و اون همون خط نسخ تعلیق که در واقع نسخ تعلیق خش افتاده به مرور زمان شد نسخ تعلیق From the 9th century Kufic writing to Thuluth and Muhaqaq, Persian Islamic calligraphy became more elegant and popular with a style known as Nastaliq. Its attractive letters have deep and curved shapes and are often decorated with flowers and vines in the background. ایشون رو نسلیق رو اصلا این شخصیت بزرگ ابدا کرد یعنی اول خطی که ایرانی ها می نوشتن نسلیق نبود همون سلس بود منتا سلس ایرانی نه سلس عرب I can proudly say that the delicate art of Nastaliq inscriptions in Iran has not died out, and Master Ahad Torabi is a prime example. He sits in his room and carefully produces his incredible works, and at the finish, he'll traditionally sign his name. So epigraphy and calligraphy survived throughout the ages and we eventually reach the Islamic era where beautiful writing like Nastaliq is being performed and these inscriptions are being sent off to mosques. Even a variety of mosques in Tehran happen to host the art of Nastaliq inscriptions. The writing is laid out in a sort of decoration around the inside of mosques that are verses of the Holy Quran. And who is it that provides these inscriptions? Master Torabi himself. Nahvi kar khatati ruy kagaz. Kagaz o be har shekli mitunan ejra konan ya dar chub ya dar gach ya dar kashi. So we've just visited a very famous religious location known as Imam Zadeh Saleh and Mr. Torabi, that calligrapher you saw earlier, well, that's his work up there on the white inscription. No one can deny the spiritual Islamic feel of the Imam Zadeh Saleh in Tajrish where many people come to pray. 
What adds to the peacefulness are the pretty verses in Nastalik calligraphy, a few of which are written by Master Torabi yet again. Well, as you can see, we've had quite an adventure. We've seen the artists from ancient times with their wonderful epigraphy inscriptions, and we've seen the artists of today doing the very same thing. And it's wonderful to see such an art surviving. I'm starting to learn some myself. Well, you can guess what my inscription says. It reads, Samson sees for Iran. <laughs>